Well, okay, that was a surprise. I thought for sure it was just the AR, not with a magazine fully loaded. Uh, it's the uh, toxic waste dump. Bondele, yeah. When you uh, when you create your game world, you have uh, these two options here: initial day and spawn delay. Initial day is the day that you want to set as the day the cataclysm occurred. So our normal start day is day sixty-one technically, but it, it sets up as sixty here. But um, day sixty is the normal start. It's day sixty of spring. So I've set it so that I said the cataclysm occurred on day twenty of spring. But then I set the spawn delay when I enter the game world as 40 days later. So by doing that, I've allowed for 20 days, or I mean 40 days of uh, evolution to occur. So enemies have upgraded during that period of time into their higher forms. Uh, food has rotted over that time. Um, things like that. So we've had 40 days of... Time passing since the Cataclysm started before my character entered the world on the normal day 61. So I wanted to have some evolved zombies, and we've seen a few, more than normal. And um, that's kind of the one, one of the ways you can control that, is through these numbers. Then you can also set the evolution scaling factor if you want to speed up how fast the zombies actually evolve. 4.0 is the default. If you make it lower, they evolve faster. If you make it higher, they evolve slower. Don't plan on doing a mutation run. Slime globs. <laughs> Don't plan on doing a mutation run. Oh, sewage samples. Really? Is the entire drum full of sewage sample? Is that 200 liters of sewage sample? Because, <laughs> man, that's a lot of sewage samples to uh, ingest for mutations and such. I believe that's a quest item somewhere from one of the NPC quest chains. Like it's all mostly housing. Ooh, hardware store would be good to get to. Although I've already got the... Yep, see, there's a necromancer. We don't usually see those right at the beginning. We've already seen a hollow and a few other of the upgraded ones. I've got the pickaxe already. I don't have a toolbox, but we've got the pickaxe and the torch, so we can go with just about anywhere we want to. We can burn through doors or we can pickaxe through them. I don't have a good prying tool yet. Got a rifle, but I don't have a lot of rounds of ammo for it. Let's keep rolling around the edge of the city. That's quite the crowd. So the game world is set at 150% uh, zombies, so we got 50% more zombies as well as the evolution update, so yeah, that's quite the crowd. We got bitters in there, smoke zombie, barrel humans, bloateds, dissoluted devourers, a necro hanging around in the back there. Always fun to see a necro hanging around in the back of a big old crowd. <laughs> even funner when you don't know he's back there he's just out of sight for one reason or another like he's hiding in the smoke cloud and you keep wondering why the Hulk you just killed keeps getting back up again ah uh, good times with necromancers especially when there's more than one that is premium grade A fun when you got dueling necros raising everything you're trying to kill kill one necro the other necro raises the first necro <laughs> Actually, can I do that now? I'm not sure. I'm trying to remember, do they pop into the, uh, do they leave a corpse or do they pop into the blobs? Baseball field, huh? I don't need baseball. I need golf and hockey. So I talked about it at the beginning of the episode as part of my remembrance or research on this challenge. I was trying to remember the last time I'd seen, why is zombie dog still up? Somebody needs to be yelling at me about zombie dog. <laughs> 
Tommy dog, go hide. Um, I was trying to remember the last time I'd seen a golf course in uh, in the map gen, and I I can't come up with the last time I've seen one with all the traveling I've done in the various series. I am uh, hard pressed to remember the last time I saw an actual golf club golf course. So I'm curious who else has seen one recently using the current builds and all that. Can anybody independently confirm they've actually remember seeing a golf course in a recent game using experimental builds? I sure can't remember seeing one. I I do a lot of traveling in some of my, my runs. We happened to get lucky and saw a golf cart in a garage, a house garage, in their second attempt, but... Um, not sure we're going to get so lucky the next time. Collected one at a starting location. Yeah, this, I know there's a starting option, scenario based, but um, I don't know. I'm not sure it's still spawning in just random gen on its own without uh, a scenario trying to pick it. I'm not sure that's intentional or another inadvertent break in uh, the uh, the map gens. I found a few others that have gotten fixed since after I yelled at some folks. So we can just about fully wrap around this city. Whether that's helpful or not, I don't know. I'm not too impressed with a lot of the buildings I'm seeing at the outer edges. Bookstore, I'd rather get a library, but um, all we got is a couple of bookstores. We're at the far edge of where we started. We started over here somewhere, and that fungal bloom over there shouldn't stretch all the way across the city. That's if we decide to stick around this area. We could just take a drive. That's a dead end. Dead ends unless we find an open field connecting. Bit of a drive back that way, but that's interesting. Endpoint, 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 endpoint. How many of them are useful versus trailheads? Who knows? There is also a city up there. I might roll all the way back around. I'm not too impressed with the options I've got in this city, and I don't want to take a chance of being anywhere near the fungal when I finally stop moving and try to uh, camp to heal, get rid of the infection, and do some reading and stuff. So I think we'll we'll spin this thing around, head back up the other way. Uh, okay. <laughs> Interesting. Sloppy Joes and hamburgers and cheeseburgers. There's nobody around. I'm trying to think if this was supposed to be a food truck or something. I'm not going to worry about raw materials right now. Am 
back through the woods. Either one, ugh, either attack. <laughs> Reading your message while trying to talk simultaneously. Yeah, we're doing okay. We're on attempt number three. Happy Killmore the third. Caustic Soldier Zombie. And a regular zombie soldier. Is that a soldier body site? Yep, sure is. So did they start... Tactical dump house. Did they start having some of these weapons with magazines in them? <laughs> you know, just, just some of them maybe? One or two died without expending all of their rounds of ammo and then tossing the magazines in a ditch somewhere? We have worms on. Let's find out. Nope. Nope. Yeah, they're still just leaving them the, 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 the weapon with absolutely no ammo or magazines. That is silly. killing those guys. I was originally going to be heading over this way and follow that road network that way, but we might be able to connect up to it from this side. They're going to give me a big open area to drive through while... I'll drive through it. As long as they don't stop me at the very last second. <laughs> cabin? Uh-oh. The cabin in the plains. What could possibly be wrong? Break the window. A little teeny tiny cabin. Uh, if I were to break a window, it would be over here. <laughs> All about swords again. Modern rifleman under the hood. Oh, that was some good ones. Well, we're up to strength seven. We must have gotten rid of a few negative effects. Minimal pain. Still infected. Still got the flu. Hmm. Morale is uh, trending towards 125 focus. 
Smells good. Oh, we're craving fire. That's right. I forgot about that. Bookcase. Oh, yeah, we do have bookcases. Never mind. So I could block a portion of the window there. Just wondering if this is where I want to squat for a while while we wait out things. One thing it doesn't have is an easy water source. Oh, it's got that tank in the back. Examine. 211 clean water. <laughs> well, there you go. I guess I can climb the roof. So, theoretically, we have a grappling hook, right? So, no falling? Supposedly? <laughs> Take a look around with our binoculars. Not another cabin. So we do have a big north-south barrier of woods. They're going to prevent me. No, they're going to prevent me from anything because this is another uh, farm or horse farmhouse. We've got the road connection that'll take me all the way over to that section I was looking at, and then connect up to that city, or we can go up that way. So we got a lot of options. Could just go camp out at the uh, the horse farm. That would have even more amenities. If we get down safely with all this gear while, um, you know, over encumbered and carrying a million things and bad stats. Oh, yeah, this, this is terrible. So, <laughs> all right, grappling hook. My life is in your hands here. I'm not 100% certain how this works or doesn't work after the changes. Ah, use your grappling hook to climb down. Why, yes. Look at that. Beautiful. Alright, well, I guess it doesn't really matter. Oh, we got a Z indicator over there. Now it matters. Now I'm all scared. We got neighbors six tiles away. <laughs> Dusters. Yeah, this one's outfitted pretty well. Hey there, Slothton. Thanks very much for the resub. Welcome to the adventure. Ah, faux fur cat ears. Are they fancy? They're fancy. We must wear. Oh, yeah. Gold watch. Nice. Drop. What am I using now? I don't have a watch. I'm using a, a smartphone. Uh, where'd you go? Gold watch. Yeah, 
nothing useful there, unfortunately. Alright. Well, I didn't have to break into this one. We can actually close it up entirely. See how much water it has, if any, in that external tank back there. Only 397, huh? Uh, I assume the assumption here is that the water is going down the drain downspout, collecting and downspouting directly into this holding tank. I, I guess. All right, nice and dark. Got a wood stove, which will keep the smoke from, uh, you know, billowing and making us cough. Lots and lots of water. Trees we can chop down for wood, should we need it. We've got candles for nighttime burning. <coughs> for reading or whatever. We don't have to burn an exorbitant amount of wood just to craft or read by at night. Yeah, and way out in the middle of nowhere. No neighbors or horde issues. Uh, functional in what way? You can climb up and down them. And if you put a container and a funnel on a downspout space, or container on the downspout? I can't remember. I've never bothered to do it, but downspouts can be used to gather water. So I think if you just put a container under the downspout, it'll gather. Uh, wander spawns, I thought I had on for this one. Yeah, wander spawns are on. Yeah, it worked. Worked fine. When I examined the edge, it asked me specifically if I wanted to use the grappling hook and uh, let me down. But I doubt I even need to use the edge. So we can uh, climb... And I'll go down just a random edge. Climb down. It asks, use your grappling hook. Yes. Whoa, we took damage. <laughs> what the hell, game? <laughs> you tie the rope around your waist and begin to climb down. You trigger a ledge. You fall one story. You dent your headlamp. <laughs> You're slammed against the grass for 118 damage. What the hell? <laughs> I was I was demonstrating. Oh, man. What's with that nonsense? I thought grappling hooks made it so you just couldn't fall. Does it just adjust the uh, the chances to fall? Uh. <laughs> hmm. Well, we started. It's an RBD scenario start. <laughs> we started infected. Alright. I was under the impression the the the, <laughs> the grappling hook kept you from falling, period. So apparently I was I was wrong. I mean Useful for keeping yourself safe from falls. I mean, we, we got the message about being safe and using the grappling hook. When I stepped to the edge, it asked me specifically if I wanted to use it. I said yes. And we still slammed to the ground. Yeah. Alright, not a fan. <laughs> not a fan. I need to know one way or the other. Is the damn thing actually supposed to work 100%? For one story transitions like that? Or is it just... Is flighty, or does it just figure into the calculations in some way? Is it just plugged in as a modifier for the uh, you fall down calculations? <laughs> uh. Hmm. All right. <laughs> We're gonna be here a few days, probably anyway, to heal up. But we've got poor healer, so we only heal at what thirty percent? The second from worst one. <laughs> That's a lot of hit points to heal up now. I think we'll probably stay here, though. I could just stay in the car, but um, we got some amenities and stuff here that we can take advantage of. Plus, there's some existing things just laying around we can use. We got plenty of reading material and such that we can also use, so this is probably a good place to uh, just 
hang out. Be nice if I could get the car a little closer. I do have an axe, but I really don't want to be chopping stuff. Burning calories at this point. Nah, we're not imperceptive in this one. I wanted to take other traits. If I take imperceptive, that's pretty much most of the trait points I can spend on the negative side, so... I didn't go with imperceptive this time. Cougar, huh? Trying to check. Can I can I actually fit this through here? One, two, three. No, there's only three. That's where the tree is actually. One, two, th two. Three. Yeah, we only have three spaces. Two trees. And the vehicle is four spaces wide. And we'll just back up to the tree. Uh, that will have to do. All right, what what do we need to pull out of the vehicle? Got our hockey stick for our melee weapon. Uh, give me some candles. Eh, we'll leave whatever's in there for the moment. Got most of this stuff covered. Take some regular cough syrup. And some extra non-drowsy. Alright, book. Sure. Yeah, I'm not sure on the votes for now. Do need at least a little bit of firewood. We'll just chop up cabinets or something for a tiny bit of firewood for a little bit I'll be crafting. We'll just keep everything in my inventory for now. Mineral water and <laughs> uh, some pickles. All right, so twelve hour doses, eight ten days. We got like seven, a little over seven more hours before we have to uh, take another dose. Still got the took antibiotic tag. Let's go ahead and have another codeine. And, uh, I'm just gonna do some reading. It. Ooh. I think tailoring first, I guess. Just to pass some time. Oh wait. Stop. Uh, drop. Motorcycle. All right, we'll jam to some jam to some tunes while we're we're doing our reading. So our morale is our focus is eighty, trending to eighty. Yeah, that pain's gonna come down fast. Let's start a fire. Actually, let's get that done. Eight, right now. Start a fire. There we go. That'll uh, satisfy our fire cravings because we're a pyro. Lit a fire, 2%. Spent time close to fire. Now we'll do some reading. Hmm. 
fifty sticks. Aren't making any progress. Retired 1933. Yeah, it'll get dark soon. We should probably just sleep. More of this yummy mineral water they left. I don't like that we got a cougar bouncing around nearby. All right, let's have... Oh, that's right. Can't have the cheeseburger, or I won't like it. <laughs> got, got cheese on it. That's all right. Got hamburgers. Hamburger, hamburger, hamburger. And now we're sick again. Growing up all over the place. Shouldn't have had so many hamburgers. Monica off. Um, go to sleep. Took a new dose, so... Yeah, we're just basically waiting to see if the uh, infection goes away. Yeah, it's the, the lactose intolerant kind of monster. <laughs> the lacto monster. So we found antibiotics 10 minutes into the challenge and started taking them. <laughs> We're uh, two thirds of the day through, still infected. up we're still infected not good <laughs> not good all right don't be yakking up your hamburgers this time Focus of 120. <clears throat> um, some wood to start a fire. What can we bash with? Wood axe. going. Uh, I'm going to wait just a few minutes while it runs. 
that fire bonus. Yeah, let's take it. Don't I have the tools to disassemble with? <laughs> yep, sure do. Do I care? Nope, sure don't. It's down to what do you value more, time or uh, materials? Hey, infection's gone. Yay. Uh, you can smash things, it's faster, and uh, you get the materials right away, or you can disassemble them for more materials. If I have locally source more materials than I expect to use, why do I care if I, if I disassemble them? Why take uh, five minutes to take a thing apart when I can smack it once for six seconds and break it and use the materials that it provides me? So it just comes down to time versus materials. And if I've got more materials around me than I think I'll use, then I just smash them. If I'm desperate for every last little scrap of material, I'll disassemble them. So just based on quantity and need. <clears throat> All right, so we got the infection cured. I forgot to throw bandages and antiseptic on though with the wounds, so I was I was a bit of a dumbass there. <clears throat> I've only got a few of the standard bandages, so I guess we will put them on the important parts, the bits I care about. <laughs> oh. And I only have a little bit of antiseptic also. We're going to have to go without the antiseptic. I don't have much in the way of any first aid either, so it's going to be pretty poor healing with uh, the poor healing trait. So we might be here a little bit trying to get some healing done. Now we're not in a hurry. Now that we've killed the... Uh, successfully survived and killed the infection... And there's nobody nearby so far. Oh, look at that. LMOE shelter popped on the list at the last minute. Isn't that convenient? Yeah, we're, we're, we're going to do some reading and some skill training here before we, we get moving. Unless we're forced to move. I do want to go check out that LMOE real quick, though, and what vehicles are in front of the prison. But we'll do that before we settle in for uh, an extended stay here in the uh, remote cabin. I think we just barfed, so we'll, uh, we'll go easy on that. Um, give me that. Off the harmonica. Already carrying too much crap around. Let's go take a quick trip. Ah, yeah, LMOE, last man on earth. Flaming eye! Ooh boy. Ooh boy. Multiple flaming eyes. Two eyes, three Gracken, an amoebic mold, a crack. <laughs> That's quite the sight. We're going to get stared at. There's the tear in reality through which they're uh, they're pouring into our world. Well, okay then. I'm just going to guesstimate they're up here. We'll go uh, this away. <laughs> Got no desire to mess with them. They can feel free to 
tourist their way around our universe. So the last mount on Earth, there's variants, different versions of it. I'm hoping it's the one that has the uh, firearm repair kit. I haven't gotten that one recently. Be kind of nice. Oddly positioned right next to the uh, ah another body site. Cracking, cracking this time, amigos. What you got up there? Budget, budget ball, volleyball. No, not anything fun. A couple other items, but nothing else interesting. All right, where's the entrance to this thing? Right there. Go ahead and climb up and get a look around with our binox. Okay, the three slot gas station or garage might be useful, might not. Got an evac shelter where we might be able to get first aid kits. We got old lab, old lab, yay! We've got an old lab that we can go visit. We got cards to get in. And we're on the edge of the big city I was working my way up towards. Don't see anything interesting in the buildings on the outer edge so far. Possibly that craft shop, if it's the metalworking craft shop. So, yeah, not bad. And check this real quick, check that real quick. See if there's any first aid kits in the evac shelter. And we've got a nearby full science lab. Could be a lab under the prison, too. I haven't been to a prison since they've changed things around yet. All right, which one did we get? Ah, this one again. Not the one I was hoping for. Yep, same one we got last time. Oh, well. Don't need a jerry can. Already got one. Need sticks. Lamb chowder and ravioli is okay. Yet, which AAA guide that is? The anarchist version or the, the actual driving version? <laughs> Faux fur hat. 100 out of 100. <laughs> Saddlebags. Alright, secret room, what you got? Carbine and a can cannon, eh. An AK-47 fully loaded and a Mossberg almost fully loaded. Alright. Yeah, I know. I can't go on the floor under me. Yes, I can unload that carbine and at least take the ammo with me. Yeah, they're running right this way. Stupid crack. Don't want to mess with me. Alright, we got the only things I cared about. Funny thing is, we, we found a perfect condition golf cart in the second attempt. We weren't able to stay alive to get claim it, 
But uh, we found it just sitting in the house garage. What the hell vehicle is that? Look at this thing. The hell is this? It's got an engine crane. Underlift tow truck. Cool. Internal boom crane. Stuff in the floor trunks. Stuff in the basket. Please tell me that's going to be cool stuff like crowbars and stuff like that. Tow trucks are all over the place now? Huh. Alright. First time I've seen one. So, I don't need gas. M radio? Alright. Let's, uh, let's lead these zombies away so I can hop out and take a look at some things. Come on, you guys. See if we get the grappler zombie to yank me out of my, my seatbelt through, uh, through the window. Slam me to pavement. All right, tow truck, we gotta check you out. Regular gas, battery, no wheels. Pretty, uh, pretty tough little design there. V8 engine. Hmm. Heavy duty tow cable and a short rope. Coffee. <laughs> And flares. Well, not what I was hoping for. And the boom crane. Mm -mm. I want to remove that boom crane, but I need three mechanics. I do have under the hood. How am I going to fit a boom crane on a golf cart, though? <laughs> Where's it going to go on a tricked out golf cart? <laughs> In place of the uh, the basket? <laughs> Just more welding tanks, huh? Ooh, a plastic sheet. Need that if I'm gonna butcher. First aid book! Cool. We got some of the more important ones. We got under the hood, we got the big book first aid. <laughs> Cheap wine. Oh, sure. Uh. Probable also, but I like the looks of our car. Plenty of, I won't say free gas, but easy gas here. The boom cranes on easy to find tow trucks.
Do I want the nasty rations? Sure. Probably better take a few. Just in case. Uh, oops, forgot I had my head my headlamp on. Alright, bathrooms. First aid kits, please. We got one. That's the important part. Any bonus ones? Two. Alright, that's all I care about. <laughs> There's a lot of rations. Whoops. <laughs> Guess not. Supposed to be protein, man. What's it made of? Dubbed Dizoom. Oh, it's a soy. That's right. Hmm. Alright. Well, guess we'll get rid of them. so much random crap right now. Oh, chat went burp, did it? <clears throat> or the stream went burp, one or the other. I need like an audio cue when I when that happens. Whoa! Wasn't actually planning on brute forcing my way through there. Hey! <laughs> what the hell was that? <laughs> well, that's a problem. <laughs> I don't know what happened. Uh, nah, it's just pressing the keys like I always do. It's not like I don't have four million hours driving vehicles in Cataclysm. Ay, ay, ay. I'm not even sure the car is drivable after that. <laughs> I got ejected. <laughs> I got enemies coming and they can get in the diagonals. Lovely. And he's in my driver's seat. And I'm getting nibbled on by the animals. <laughs> We went from win to uh, I'm about to die because now I've got multiple animals in the vehicle with a runner. They all can hit me. <laughs> I don't know what happened there. Uh, I don't think now low driving skill at the speeds I drive doesn't have that kind of a real confident con yeah. <laughs> have that kind of an effect. Huh. Yeah. Those things are faster than me, too. I can't tell what my... The current speed, 96. I need to drive at least a, a few more seconds so that I can get clear of the, uh, the, the other zombies. 
<laughs> That's just weird. Uh, let's see. I do have a gun in my hands, but we have no skill at it. It's point blank. Let's see. Let's slow our roll. Go to 10. We got, I think. Not sure if I'm in line with this boulder or not. <laughs> I need to turn slightly. There we go. I think I got plenty of room out that way. Oh, and that moved the feral runner over a space, and I've just got the one thing next to me. Hmm. Let's keep traveling. Whoops. Oh, now he's next to me again. <laughs> Uh, bleeding on four body parts. Oh, funny. All right, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta increase the speed. We gotta, we gotta make distance here so I can just deal with these guys next to me. All right. Now. If I hit the parking brake, step northwest, they're going to pile up in the back of the vehicle. The one closest to me might step north and then follow me out the diagonal, but the others are going to go pile up in the back corner. So I'll just have one adjacent to me. I can run around the back end, get some distance, and then start picking them off with the rifle. I think we're going to go ahead and stop here. That feral's probably going to move up a space, but... Yeah, he might actually follow me. Six. Stop driving. Uh, I was hoping they would all follow me. Or at least stay off out of the uh, diagonal. All right, you woodland white that's kicking my ass. Semi-auto only, huh? Point blank range. 75 points at 68% chance or so. Sounds good. Take another hit. Alright, one down. Now we need to just back off walking while they're still stuck in the vehicle. I'm maintaining my angle to keep them in the vehicle. They can see me, and they're they're trying to straight line it, so I'm preventing them from using the exits. I'm gonna I'm just gonna wait here for a second <clears throat> while I get my stamina back. Get rid of some bleeding. <laughs> Activate bandage. Now I got a crack coming at me because of the noise I made. Isn't that hilarious? God damn crack. <laughs> Activate. I got better things to do than deal with you, crack. Alright, bleeding's done. I lead them to the corners. And then sprint back in. I'm gonna have to deal with this stupid crack or he's gonna keep trying to nibble on me. might get more visitors so I can't spend a huge amount of time out here. Whoa! Man, did that thing travel. Did I not notice that thing slip around the corner there? I have to wait till that thing gets in point blank range. This is terrible timing. If I hit P for precise... Alright, we're gonna just let Pat time pass and I'll see what my number looks like when it gets adjacent. 67. Yeah, take that shot. 
might get him with one more. Ah, open. Man, I was really hoping to uh, not blow all this ammo. <laughs> that was funny, though. All right, come get me. Closer, please. Ah, fancy hairpin. I think I already have one of them. Out of here before the other zombies show up. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure what happened there. Uh, sure looked funny though. Not the first time I've smashed my vehicle into a building. <laughs> just just while doing the normal driving around. <laughs> I want to go see what kind of uh, lab we've got. If it's regular ice lab, deep freeze lab. I want to know what choice we've got. A wolf and a zombie. Well, that's not... It's not what I want to deal with. Oh, I saw something red. Migo. The Migo chopping things up in the forest or in the swamp over there. Remote vehicle controller. Oh yeah, there's a body site kind of tucked away over there. Huh. I need to get the Migo over here to deal with these wolves. I see him tucked into the woods over there. Killing zombies. <clears throat> I want to turn, but I don't want to turn with the stupid wolf directly adjacent to me. There he comes. Come on, Migo. Oh, Migos. It's the Migo Club. I guess we're going sideways. A wolf faster than the Migo? <laughs> I like how he keeps dancing. There he goes. <clears throat> Come and get me, Migo. Oh, I want the Migo to chase. Yeah, chase this kitty cat. Somehow I gotta get turned around so the Migos go after the kitty cat. Now a crowd of zombies shows up. Whoa, where'd the acid come from? Oh, spitter. Uh, yeah, this is kind of inconvenient. Now, go after the zombies, Migo. Stay stay over there. Not sure he listened to me. We'll airlock the door. Alright, what kind of lab we got here? Okay, start if we got... Ooh, is that top hat make me fancy? Very fancy. <laughs> top hat, motorcycle helmet. Hmm. <laughs> it's a very fancy top hat. I don't know. Uh, well, I didn't need you to be here. You can just stay in there. 
I just want to know what kind of lab I got. I got a blob lab. Temperatures minus 17. I think that's normal temperature. That's definitely not a deep freeze. Up here we are. Yeah, that's just slightly, slightly colder. So. Head minus 17. Legs minus 20. Yeah, that's not a not a deep freeze or a nice lab. So we got a regular lab. That's good. Uh, I have specific challenge runs that uh, attempt the deep freeze and or and the regular freeze lab escapes. Whether I succeeded or not, I don't know. I don't remember. I've done a lot of challenges. Okay. Ooh. So yeah, a little bit of comedy at the end there. <laughs> Only thing I can think of is I somehow fumbly fingered while I was driving and uh, put myself right in the wall there. I'm not sure. But uh, that's going to be it for right now for uh, Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead. We're about six hours and uh, 12 minutes in. I got to go get some food in me. So I'm going to call it a halt right here. We'll continue the adventures on Friday. How's the car after the crash? I don't remember how the car was before the crash. So vehicles are weird. It probably didn't take any damage. As long as it was drivable, I didn't really care. But I, I don't know exactly what condition it was in beforehand. So, other than the engine compartment. I remember the engine compartment was perfect. And it's still perfect. <laughs> so, vehicles are weird. Collisions are weird. Uh, but, um, yeah. So, I'll be back to continue this particular adventure on Friday. I'll be continuing the 7 Days to Die Twitch coverage tomorrow. I don't think I'll be streaming that tonight. I'm going to take a, a break from the 12 hour, 14 hours a day <laughs> streaming to uh, get some other stuff done this evening, get a good night's sleep. But I'll be back at it early in the morning. So hope you're enjoying the streams for uh, both Seven Days and Cataclysm. And uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Really appreciate it. Stay safe out there. Have a good night.